Is there a difference in audio quality between the iPhone microphone, the AirPods, and a Shure MV88? That's the topic of today's video. News from the booth! Hi everybody, welcome back to the VO Video Village. I'm Rick McIver. The VO Video Village is a channel where we talk about all things voiceover. So if that sounds good to you, hit subscribe. Blah, 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 hit the like button, yada, yada, yada. Let's just do this. You're a voice actor. You're on the road, on vacation, out and about, whatever. You get an urgent call from your agent and it says, you have an audition that I need you to get in right now. What do you do? I know a ton of voice actors, when they go on vacation, they take all kinds of gear with them. You know, their big microphone, their interface, laptop, all that stuff, just in case they need it. But do they need to? I mean, if you're just doing an audition, can you do it on your iPhone? Can you do it on your AirPods or this little guy? The MV88 is made by Shure, and it plugs right into the lightning connector of your iPhone. Now, the thing is, is it much better than just the microphone on the iPhone. Is this worth an extra $150? And for that matter, here are a pair of iPod Pros, which are 200 something dollars. Are these any better? Let's find out. So we're gonna do a real world test here. I'm assuming that when you're on the road, you maybe have a rental car or your own car, and if you get a call, you'll just pull off into a parking lot somewhere and you might have some cars driving by you, a little road noise, whatever. I wanted to make this as real world as possible. So here we are in my car. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're gonna keep it simple at first. I'm just gonna turn on my iPhone and record with the microphone that's built in. I use this great little app called Just Press Record. It's pretty simple and straightforward. I have something called the Harvard Sentences to read. The Harvard, I gotta read you this because I found this out, I thought it was hysterical. The Harvard sentences are a collection of sample phrases that are used for standardized testing of voice over IP, cellular, or telephone systems. They are phonetically balanced sentences that use specific phenomes at the same frequency they appear in English. <laughs> That's a lot. I don't know, I'll just go through a few of them and then we'll repeat the test for the other two. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. I am about this far away from my microphone and I'll try to maintain that distance for the other things. Okay. I think we'll stop there and we'll switch to the other mic. So I can't really keep my face away from the microphone because they're here. So we'll just read the sentences and see how it sounds. Now it's time for the MV88. And we're recording. All right, let's see if this sounds any better. Here we go. Say it with me. The MV88 comes with its own actual recording software that allows you to do a whole bunch of adjustments to the audio quality, and that might affect how it sounds based on comparing it to the other things. So just for giggles, let's do that. I'm gonna set this software here so that it's optimized for voiceover for the MV88 on its specialty recording software. Give me a sec. All right, I think we're set. Using Motive's recording specialty software for the short MV88. Let's see if it sounds any better after all that effort. Here we go, record. Now here's the deal. I wanna go back and listen to these in a real world kind of scenario, such as someone who is listening to the auditions in a production studio. So let's take this information back. Let's go back to my control room and let's take a listen together. I'm back in the studio. I've copied all of the files from my phone, like I would have emailed them to somebody and just threw them in a folder here, opened all of them up, and we're going to go ahead and just give them a straight ahead listen. So let's start with the one that I think is going to be the worst, which I think should be the AirPods. I think those don't sound very good, but I wanna give it a shot. So, Oak is strong and also gives shade. Cats and dogs each hate each other. The pipe began to rust while new. Open the crate, but don't break the glass. 
Add the sum to the product of these three. The AirPods. They sound like crap. Expected. Let's move on to what I think is going to be the middle one, which is the microphone on the actual phone. Let's take a listen. Test number one. The oak is strong and also gives shade. Cats and dogs hate the other. The pipe began to rust while new. Open the crate, but don't break the glass. Add the sum to the product of these three. Okay, switch over to the, now we're going to go to the next one. But what I observed from that one, that you could hear a lot of background noise. It was full. Actually, it surprised me with how broad a frequency response that little microphone in the iPhone can get. But there was a lot of background noise. Um, and on, in a mobile situation, I don't know if you would use some software to try to cancel that out or if it would just be there in your audition. So let's see what, what I think is going to be the best one, which is the MV88. Oak. Come here. Oak is strong and also gives shade. Cats and dogs each hate the other. The pipe began to rust while new. Open the crate, but don't break the glass. Add the sum to the product of these three. No, 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 no. Wow, that is way, way uh, clipping, and it's too, way too loud. Uh, the waveform is too way too hot. Um, wow, that was a bummer. My That was just the recording from... That was the recording straight in... To the my record app so let's go and see if we can find so we also so that last one was really modulated and on my recording software the the just push record button there's no place to set levels so um that's a bummer that microphone was really really hot when it came to recording straight into that program so let's go to the other program Let's go to the program that came with the MV88 and see if that recording is any better because we did that in the car. So let's see if it's any better. Oak is strong and also gives shade. Cats and dogs hate the other. Oh, I forgot a word. Cats and dogs each hate the other. The pipe began to rust while new. Open the crate, but don't break the glass. Add the sum to the product of these three. Uh, what? Ho, oh, what? I, I, uh, what? Okay, so, so what I heard out of that was the microphone was still very loud and over, a little bit overmodulated. It was really hot in the mid range, like it was like peaked in the middle. So, very, very punchy. Not a broad range of tone. Well, both of them have a lot of background noise. I guess that's what you're going to get in a car in a on a busy road, near a busy road. Um, the iPhone mic is surprisingly, surprisingly good. It has a fuller range. Um, there's more, right? There's more low end, a little more sparkle in the high end. Um, the MV88 is all middle. It's all mid-range, and it's kind of harsh. It hurts a little bit to listen to. Huh. Well, I'm surprised. Very surprised. I did not expect that. I kind of don't know what to say right now. <laughs> this was going to be like, hey, this mic is awesome kind of review. But I don't know what to do now. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, so, well, crap. Well, well, in my defense, I bought this little MV88 probably about three, four years ago when I had my other iPhone. This is the iPhone XR, I think is what it is. And the one I had before that was like a five, right? And the microphone doesn't sound good. So I used this on that old phone and it sounded much better. 
but I hadn't really done a test of the new one or newish one compared to this. And I got to tell you, I wouldn't pay an extra $150 to carry this around with me because it sounds so much better than the iPhone. I'm shocked. I think I'm going to have to go on a quest for really good portable uh, microphones that you can use on your phone. Because I don't like to carry around all of that stuff, an extra, you know, my laptop and then the, the input and then the microphones and the cables and all that stuff. I don't like carrying that stuff around with me when I travel. So I'm going to need to find a better mic. Huh? This has been very interesting for me. I don't know about you, but wow, interesting results. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and have gotten some use out of it. If you have, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It does help me um, or not, you know, whatever you want to do. I hope it's been helpful. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos that are related to voiceover and YouTube, check these guys out. Thanks a lot. Until next time. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do with this now. Does anybody want an MV88? Because I guess I don't need it anymore. Good God. Well, that didn't go as planned.